Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today, as a follow-up to my two-month Accutane video, I wanted to show you my Accutane skincare routine. I'm now on my third month, um, it's still going great. I feel like the scarring that I have, um, also because of the purchase, kind of healing. Um, I haven't had a new pimple in a couple of weeks, so fingers crossed. And while you're on Accutane, it's important to take good care of your skin because the skin is very, very irritated. It's in a kind of transformative state, I would say. So, this is how I do it. Let's start with my evening routine um, on days when I do shave and I try to shave more regularly because it's actually less irritating for me than if I wait until my beard grows longer and then I kind of have to scrape everywhere. It's not that nice. On days when I do shave, I use the Kiehl's, it has a long name, um, Close Shaver Squadron Smooth Glider Precision Shave Lotion for all skin types. It's quite expensive. It's about 20 euros for 150 milliliters. Um, but it's kind of one of the only shaving gels I've ever had that doesn't irritate my skin, despite it having fragrance that's like, I try to avoid that. But um, yeah, this one is nice, so usually I would, um, I would shave, then hop in the shower and then do the rest of my skincare routine. So the next step and the first step on days when I don't shave is a double cleanse. So I go, and, I go in with an oil-based cleanser first to get, you know, all the dirt and the SPF off. And then I use a, um, a gel type of cleanser. So I use a really, really cheap cleansing oil that I got from uh, Balea in Germany. So you can find it pretty much, I guess, wherever you have DM. This is just a simple cleansing oil that's uh, based on, I think, sunflower oil and argan oil. It's three euros for a hundred milliliter. It lasts for quite a while. I mean, it's it's a simple oil. Like, what what else can I say about it? It's simple, it's good, it's cheap. It gets the job done. It's nothing exciting for sure. My next step is uh, going in with the water gel-based cleanser. Um, I'm using the La Roche-Posay uh, Tularian Carrying Wash, which I think in most countries is called the Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. It's a classic. It's very moisturizing, I guess. I, it doesn't really leave my f skin, you know, feeling like dry and stripped. But how can I really tell my skin is dry as paper? Um, but it's good. I really enjoy this. It kind of foams up a bit, but not really that much. Um, it's definitely, like, for me, a nicer experience than using the uh, Derma Cleanser from La Roche-Posay. And it's it's relatively cheap here. So this is 400 milliliters or, well, 13.52 fluid ounces. And I pay, like, 11, 14 euros for it or something like that. It's It's quite nice. So after I've cleansed my skin twice and I would usually try to avoid like a breakout if I have one, just kind of rubbing around it, I go in with the Purito Centella Unscented Toner um, just to give my skin a bit more hydration. Um, this is really what I'm trying to do, you know, just throwing, throwing moisture at my skin. Um, and I think that's also why I haven't really had any kind of flakiness. Um, I mean, some people really get it that, you know, your skin kind of turns into like snake skin that it just starts peeling everywhere. I haven't had any peeling and I think this is really because I um, I try to keep my skin very hydrated. And uh, yeah, so I go in with the toner, um, which is really nice. It's like one of the only fancy things I actually have in this skincare routine. The rest is just completely boring. So I do allow myself the toner because it's unscented. It just adds pretty much hydration and centella. Um, so it's nice. It's a nice addition. And then um, the thing that actually locks in all the moisture is, of course, the CeraVe in the tub. I, get, I got the one with the pump bottle and then I just, it's, it's a bit more expensive than the regular tub, but then I just buy the, you know, regular tubs and I refill it. So I get the pump bottle, uh, yeah, as an extra. It just, I do a whole pump for my entire face and neck, and then I just rub it in. Um, it takes a while for it to actually just fully sink into my skin. I would say like a good 15, 20, sometimes 30 minutes, depending on um, how wet my skin was. Sometimes on days when I feel like it kind of still feels dry, I would also go in with another layer of the uh, La Roche-Posay uh, Cica Plus Balm B5. It's really nice, but it makes the skin like super white. Like some people use it as a moisturizer and I really don't get it because it, for me, it's like, it's like kind of using a mineral sunscreen with like the worst white cast you've ever seen. This is, um, this is how it feels applying, but I actually, I like the smell of it. And it does, um, whenever I use it, my skin feels so nice and hydrated and just amazing in the morning, which uh, I guess is kind of a rare thing to actually get on Accutane. So that's basically what I do in the evening. It's, yeah, simple and boring. And really the most exciting product I have is the toner. 
and the morning is kind of equally boring so I again go in with the uh, Tularian gentle cleanser or well caring wash whatever um, to get everything off of the off from the night before and that can take a bit more work especially because of the I feel like it's especially because of the CeraVe and then also the Cicaplast it you know the the cleanser kind of just melts in with all the rest and it kind of gets very pasty on the skin so it's a bit more bit more gentle rubbing involved in the morning but um, yeah I use a bit more in the morning of the cleanser and then it works then it's fine um, then I again go in with the Pure, Purito toner and then also the extra thing the Purito serum because this one has niacinamide in it which the toner I think doesn't have so I think the two of them together that's just uh, that's just quite nice um, I get these from yes style it's quite a bit cheaper than ordering it um, well in any store that actually resells it in Europe because you're getting it pretty much well not straight from the source but well from closer to the source I guess um, after I've used both of these, I um, I go in with the with a moisturizer, and I've been using the CeraVe moisturizing lotion. I feel like for the day it's a bit nicer than um, than CeraVe in the tub. I got this like gigantic one liter thing for twenty euros, which I think is a great um, it's a great deal. Um, and I've almost used like two thirds of this, um, so it's it's good. Most of you will know it. It's basically just a kind of a lighter version of the CeraVe in the top, but it pretty much has the same ingredients. It's good. And then the most important thing is sun protection. During Accutane, the skin is really sensitive, so you do definitely want to protect it from the sun. You always want to protect your skin from the sun. And despite me being at home, like, basically 24-7, I my desk is quite close to a window, and I don't always want to, like, shut all the curtains, so I do wear sunscreen indoors. And I've been really liking this uh, Nivea sunscreen that um, Dr. Dre, I think, also she got she tried it out as well. So I'm gonna link it, link her video um, somewhere. And um, it's a chemical sunscreen SPF 50. I apply quite a generous portion because I really want to make sure to get the SPF that's stated on the bottle. I used to use the Purito sunscreen before the whole drama. So um, yeah, I've been using this one since. It has. Um, it's nice, it does leave a bit of a shine, but uh, nothing too dramatic. And then um, sometimes, not always, sometimes I'm lazy and I don't actually do anything about my neck. Um, I would use this Garnier sunscreen on the neck um, simply because I don't really care about it being a bit, doesn't not feeling that nice on the face. Um, but it's just cheaper, like this whole 200 milliliter bottle is not even 9 euros. It's um, my husband uses it on the face as well from time to time, even though he has also kind of switched to this one. Um, it's okay on the face. It's not the nicest feeling ever, but it definitely gets the job done. It's it's a bit sticky. And I think this is what bothers me the most. And with my neck, I don't really care, but I do like to take naps during during the day. And then, like if I have my pillow kind of sticking to my uh, to my face, it's not that nice. And um, yeah, that's basically it. I also reapply this sometimes, <laughs> you know, when I apply it in the morning and then I do go out at maybe two or three, then I would reapply before going out. But not if I stay indoors all day. I think that's really wasteful. It's also cheap. It's, I think I paid like seven euros for a 50 milliliter bottle. I think for a face sunscreen, that's still, it's, it's fine. It's not as cheap as this, but it's fine. So this is my basic boring skincare routine on Accutane. I'm really using only these few products because I really just want to support my skin a bit in um, yeah, getting through this process and maybe finally being done with it in a couple of months. And then I can do exciting things again and I can maybe also even use a bit of fragrance in my sunscreen if I want to because I have the Cosrx um, Aloe Soothing Sun Cream lying around here and I haven't gotten to try it because I really don't really don't want to use fragrance at the moment. So this is what my skincare routine is like. Um, and my kind of a bit like three month progress on Accutane. If you have any comments or questions, let me know uh, in the comments down below. It would be If you're on Accutane, I would be really interested to hear um, what kind of products you are using. I mean, some, pro some people only use like cleanser, moisturizer and sunscreen. That's really all you need. Um, but I really try, I try to be a bit more supportive of my skin, I guess, and also have a bit more fun well, while doing my skincare routine and not just making it like a chore. So yeah, um, let me know in the comments down below and uh, I'm gonna see you in a new video very soon. Bye bye.